We might not be at the stage where flying cars dash through the skies like in the Jetsons just yet, but if we can take these crazy ingenious creations and set them up across every town, city, and nation across the globe, well, then we might just be living in the future sooner than we think, folks. Let's give a quick shout out to the inventions that just narrowly missed out. Here's to the calculator shopping carts that stop us from spending all of grandma's birthday money all at once. Here's to the cutesy adjustable benches over in Sweden that allow us to set up a little picnic. It might look like the painter was distracted and forgot to stop drawing his yellow line, but it actually is a subtle genius way to help drivers parking. Oh, and how could we forget the ham dog? Alrighty, enough of that. Let's kick things off with a trip down to South Korea, shall we? In a few of the cities over there, they've created a crazy cool system that can clean their streets without a single person lifting a finger. Even though we already obviously know literally everything there is to know about science, we'll explain this in relatively simple terms, just to be nice. And not because we flunked 11th grade science class. No, definitely not that. Essentially, when it rains in Korea, which happens a lot more than most people realize, the rain seeps through slits in the road, funneling itself into a number of underground tanks. No, not like World War II tanks, we mean like massive barrel type things that hold stuff. Okay, so the water's underground now, but how does it get back to the surface? Well, you know those little reflectors on the roads that help us not swerve into oncoming traffic? In Korea, they actually double as sprinklers! Yay! The underground tanks shoot water out from the fiery pits of hell onto the road, sweeping away litter, banana peels, or zombie carcasses that weren't properly disposed of. Nope, it's not witchcraft, it's just ingenuity. Okie dokie, moving on. It was only a matter of time before this mega high-tech city made an appearance on the list. Any guesses? Yep, it's the one and only Dubai. While most of the world is hung up on how to get self-driving cars to parallel park without bumping into a fence, Dubai has left the rest of us in their tech-savvy, super-rich wake. They have created the world's first self-flying taxi service. And yes, we did say flying. Like up in the sky with Superman and dragons kind of flying. The incredible invention has been dubbed the AAT, which stands for Autonomous Air Taxi. So it's not like we're being privately flown around in a rickety Cessna by an experienced pilot. These little 18-rotor drones are taking us from A to B all by themselves. Best of all, they're eco-friendly and powered by good old-fashioned electricity. Sadly, they're not fully available for commercial use just yet, but we're getting mighty close to that stage. Now we're starting to look more like the Jetsons. Okay, we're not leaving the behemoth UAE city just yet, team. While we're over in Dubai, let's take a closer look at some of the awesome futuristic thought that goes into their emergency services, specifically their firefighters and police. Which techie team shall we start with? Firefighters? No, police! No, firefighters. No, you're indecisive. Okay, fine, police then. Apparently over in Dubai, they have a love for autonomy. Just like our flying taxis, these cop cars drive themselves. Okay, sure they can drive themselves, but how do they actually arrest those no-good scallywags who are pickpocketing tourists and stealing fancy pants cars? Which, by the way, there are a lot of in Dubai. Well, they can't physically pick up criminals, they don't have robotic arms. Yet. However, they can act as portable surveillance systems, which scan their surroundings and recognize things like stolen vehicles, suspicious objects left unattended, and they can even identify human figures and faces to see if any stranger walking down the street is actually Hannibal Lecter. Or, you know, just some boring tax evader. They might only be able to reach a top speed of 9.3 miles per hour, but still, if they make the streets a safer place, then why not have them posted up in every corner of the globe? Remember how we said that the police cars don't have robot arms? Well, you know what does have robot arms? Robots. With arms. Tagging along to the innovative Dubai police force is none other than Robocop himself. Well, sort of. Just a little less violent. Anyway, the first of these humanoid do-gooders was introduced back in 2017, and amazingly, these robots will make up an entire quarter of the local police force by 2030. Or so the Smart Services Division of the Dubai Police says. So what do these robotic police do exactly, and how can the rest of the world benefit? Well, these aren't cops in the cheap Wiggum sense of the word, they're more like public interfaces. 
Just like the automated cop car, RoboCop has a camera for transmitting live images and identifying meany, steely, punchy people. But perhaps the most simplistically genius part is the touchscreen, which random civilians like you and I can use to report crimes, ask questions about local laws, and order a fresh Domino's pizza. Okay, maybe not the last one. So we've got automated flying taxis, self-patrolling cop cars, and now we've got an innovation that helps the fire department do its job. No, it's not an army of water shooting squirtles to put out fires. And it's got nothing to do with automation this time. They've taken their firefighters and equipped them with, ready for it, jetpacks. Yeah, cool, right? Every jetpack costs about $35,000, but in the long run, that's a lot less than having to fork out millions of dollars in repair costs if Dubai's diamond-studded buildings fall victim to an uncontrollable blaze. These jetpacks aren't fire-propelled. That would go against the whole point. They're actually powered by water, and they allow our daily heroes to get a better vantage point from along the city's extensive shoreline. Plus, since their means of getting to that vantage point is on a super nifty jet ski, they don't have to worry about dodging all those painfully slow automated cop cars that have caused traffic jams. Alrighty, from one form of saving lives over to the next, drumroll please, the Life Straw. While this nifty little thing might not be as cool as a jetpack wielding fireman, its purpose is just as, if not more important. Over in the majority of the Western world, it's safe to say that we're generally pretty lucky, right? Apart from when the supply of Cheetos is running low, we don't have too many major things to worry about. However, the unfortunate reality is that in a lot of places around the world, clean drinking water, something that we all take for granted, is actually pretty darn hard to come by. Well, folks, thankfully the geniuses over at LifeStraw invented an absolute game changer. This clever creation removes 99.999999, you get it, pretty much all the waterborne bacteria. This means that you can jab this magical straw into any mud-filled lake, smelly canal, or garbage-ridden puddle of water and extract all of the drinkable water. No E. coli, no parasites, no other health issues like dysentery or typhoid fever. All in all, no worries. Obviously, these nifty inventions should be available in all poverty-stricken areas and any place where the water supply is polluted, but we think they should be available everywhere. Why? Well, because bad stuff happens. Hurricanes, earthquakes, zombie apocalypses, you name it. You never know when the water's gonna get cut off, so a life-saving straw could be the thing you never know you need. Until Godzilla attacks and you actually need it. Now that our lives have been saved, let's move on to number three, sustainable houses made from plastic bottles. This isn't some wild, tech-savvy Robocop-type invention. It's just a simple, cost-effective idea that works wonders. Helping the environment and doing its bit to make sure that our beloved planet Earth isn't blown to smithereens. These eco-conscious houses harness the hot plasma power of that star at the center of the solar system. For anyone who was too busy playing Yu-Gi-Oh! during high school science class, we're talking about the sun. So yeah, they're mostly solar powered, with a helping hand from gas produced from recycled waste. But best of all, they're also bulletproof, totally fireproof, and can even withstand an array of rumbling, super scary earthquakes. After going minimalist and forgetting about technology with our fancy biohouses, we're heading back into the confusingly advanced world of technology, taking a trip straight to the future. Over in Singapore, they've created the concept of smart lamp posts. And we don't mean smart in the automatic, I turn on when it's dark, I turn off when it's light sense. We mean super intuitive, environmentally aware, pretty darn badass Rick and Morty futury science version. First of all, these lampposts have video sensors built into them, so if there's any weird stuff going on below, like car accidents, floods, or Pennywise emerging from a drain, the street lamps will be our eyes and ears. Plus, they can monitor all sorts of weather conditions and relay the information back to Star Command, or, well, some sort of HQ. If it's snowing, hot, cold, humid, raining meatballs, or if we're being invaded by aliens, these lampposts are our first point of contact and first point of defense. Singapore is in the process of building 100,000 of them, so why wouldn't the rest of the world follow suit? Speaking of lights, here's a super duper quick hauler to the traffic lights in places like Rwanda and India. Crazy, maybe not, but subtly genius? <laughs> Heck yeah. 
they display the amount of seconds until the light's going to change color. It's not revolutionary, and it's not going to change any innovation awards, but it's sure as heck a clever feature that someone clearly smarter than us came up with. That's all for 9 crazy futuristic inventions that should be implemented in every city. Would you take a spin in a flying taxi? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the richest, and join our notification squad. Hey, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.